All right, we good? We good. So there's four places that you can find these nice and juicy gold deposits. And for the sake of time, I'm going to explain this video a little bit differently. So before we go to any of those four places, I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to need for all four of these places. Because you're going to bring the same like gear, equipment, etc. Because they're all around similar depths and stuff. So for all these places, you're going to want to bring a prawn suit with a drill arm so you can get the deposits, obviously. But with the prawn suit, you're going to want the Mark 1 depth module upgrade because there's like two two of these spots that go like like a hair beneath 500 meters which is the prawn suit spaced out other than the prawn suit you're also going to want to bring the stasis rifle just in case you know for the threats that you're going to run into at these spots so to reach the first spot you're going to start from the giant coral tube that sticks up out of the water if you don't know how to find it i have a video on that you're going to start from the coral tube and you are going to look about two and a half notches to the right of southeast you're going to head that way until you reach a entrance, like a cave entrance in the grassy plateaus, which is going to take you to the jelly shroom caves. So let's go there. And the only thing that you're going to run into in terms of threats in this biome are crab snakes, which are like giant, extremely long snakes, which are kind of, kind of freaky looking. But they kind of hide in the mushrooms, the giant mushrooms that are in the jelly shroom caves. So you can... You're going to want to avoid those mushrooms while you're like walking around in the cave. But other than that, they don't really do that much damage when compared to like other larger creatures. So, you know, you can easily avoid them or you can even kill them with the drill arm if you want. Anyways, we are here. So this is the sort of cave you're going to be looking for. Or a cave entrance you're going to be looking for. And once you find it, you're going to head down and I will give you the cords for this entrance as well. And we are in the cave. All right. So once you're in the cave, you're going to be looking for the gold deposits and you're going to typically find them on the seafloor. Like I just found this lithium deposit, these two. Oh so, yeah, you're just going to be looking around on the seafloor and they're pretty easy to spot. Oh, well, there's one right there. I'm only going to find like four or five because I am a little short on time today. Well, we go to the next spot. So there's one right there. Now also keep in mind that you may find more more deposits at these spots than I, there's another one right there, that's two. You may find more deposits here, not even just here at all the spots that I'm going to show. You may find more deposits or even less depending on, you know, the save because this game does have random spawns to a certain extent. So just because I find like maybe like, okay, there's three right there. So just because I, I might find like five here in your game, you might find like three or maybe even seven. So we found three so far, and there is four. Fourth one right there. Let's see if I can find a fifth one, and we can go on to the next spot. I apologize when I'm talking a little fast. I'm going to put some text in, just, to, just so y'all can get everything. There is a, another one right there, and that is our fifth one. Found five. I'm sure I can probably find more if I look through the whole cave, but don't really have the time to be doing that today. So let's go on to the next spot. All right, and we're back. So, to reach the next spot, I'm going to start from the giant coral tube again. You're going to start from the coral tube for every one of these spots, just so you know. So, you're going to start on the coral tube again, but this time, you are going to head meh, about half of a notch to the right of northeast until you get into the bulb zone. Now, in the bulb zone, you're going to run into uh, quite a few different hostile creatures. The first one, and probably the biggest threat is going to be the ampules that you'll run into here, which are super annoying because they have a lot of health and they can also do quite a bit of damage. Even just by walking near them, they can damage you. So your best your best little bet against them is going to be to use the stasis rifle if they come after you to freeze them because you aren't going to be able to like attack them or anything. And you're probably not going to be able to kill them because they have a lot of health. So use the stasis rifle and freeze them and then run away. The next thing you're going to run into are warpers, I think. If not, I'm going to cut this part out. I believe there's warpers in the bulb zone. It's been a while since I've been. But warpers can teleport you out of your prawn suit. And you can either run from them, you know, outrun them on the sea glide, or you can use your knife to just beat them up until they take enough damage to warp away. What else we got? Oh, yeah, there's bone sharks here as well, which, I mean, they aren't even that bad, to be honest. You can easily kill them with the drill arm. You can avoid them. They aren't that bad here because they're not like, there's not a million of them here as compared to a place like the underwater islands where there's a whole bunch of them. You can either avoid them just simply avoid them or you can just attack them with your drill arm or use the stasis rifle etc
Oh, once you're here, do the same thing you did in the Jellishroom Caves. You're just gonna be looking around on the seafloor for the little deposits. I think there's Mesmers in the bulb zone as well. Okay, there's one right there. There's Mesmers in here, which are like these like tiny, tiny little creatures that'll sort of like hypnotize you, but they can only really affect you if you're outside your prawn suit. They can't really do any damage otherwise. Okay, there's two. Okay, there we go. All right, we found a third one. I saw the Reaper on the... Okay, nope, there's a fourth one. We got four deposits, and since this biome is so big, we're going to leave it at four. All right, to reach the next spot, you're going to start from the giant coral tube once again. And from here, you are going to head about one and a half notches to the right of north until you reach the underwater islands. Now, going to the underwater islands, the only real threat you're going to... Uh, what the freak did I just say? The only threat that you're going to run into here are bone sharks like you did at the bulb zone. But the difference here is there's a lot of them, like way more. I'd argue there's swarms of bone sharks here, which makes them a lot more dangerous in that regard. Because if a whole bunch of them start attacking you at once, they can easily assure your prawn suit and then easily kill you. So you're going to want to be careful of them while you're down here. You can again hit them with a the stasis rifle. If you charge it up, you can hit multiple at once. Well, actually, you can use the stasis rifle and then kill him with the drill arm if you want. So once you've reached the underwater islands, you are going to basically just gonna go straight down once you're in the biome. You're gonna go all the way down until you reach the very bottom of the biome. Because there's a little floor. You move, it's a floor at the very bottom of the biome, and that's where you're gonna find your nice and juicy gold deposits. And then go all the way down. Again, once you get to the underwater islands, just straight down all the way to the bottom. Right, and once we are at the bottom, you can just start looking for gold deposits on the seafloor. I don't know what I just said. Did I say gold deposits? You can start looking for gold deposits along the seafloor, just like you did in the other two biomes. Okay, there's one right there. Got one so far. Okay, never mind. I didn't find just one. I found two. That's still kind of iffy, though. Okay, never mind. I found three. Okay, my bad. My bad. Four. Okay, <laughs> let me let me shut up then. So not only can you find them on the regular seafloor down here, but you can also find them along the rocks in these tiny little caves, like you can see right there. This one's alongside the rock. Uh, where's the other one I just saw? This one's also alongside the rock. I'm pretty decent. Okay, never mind. Make that five. We found five deposits down here. I was talking all that. Six and seven. Okay. <laughs> Six, seven deposits down here. Okay, I was talking all that trash at the start. I was all, oh, I only found one. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Freaking stupid. I need, to, I need to start using my eyes more. I'll see you all the next month. All right, and to reach the last spot, very last one, you can find these gold deposits without having to go to the Lost River or any super deep biome. You're going to start from the giant coral tube one last time, and you are going to head about two and a half notches to the left of north until you reach the Blood Kelp Zone, which is located right next to the Northwestern Mushroom Forest. Let's go over there. Now in the Blood Kelp, in the Northern Blood Kelp Zone, the main things you're going to run into here, you're going to run into warpers. Which, warpers, they can teleport you out of your prawn suit. You can either run away from them using a sea glide. Run away from them using a sea glide, jeez. Or attack them using your knife until they warp away. You're also going to run into ampules, which we talked about as well. Mainly, you're going to use your stasis rifle. You're going to use the stasis rifle against them. I cannot speak. Use the stasis rifle against them, or you can just avoid them entirely. You're probably going to want to do a combination of both, to be honest. One of the biggest threats here that's, that we haven't talked about yet is the crab squid, which is like a giant freaking 
well, crab squid. It can basically let off an EMP. That's just like main thing. It can disable your vehicle, electronics, etc. Easy, a super easy way to avoid it is by staying super far above the crab squid or staying super far beneath it because it won't hit you because it goes out horizontally. So if you're super far above or super far below, it can't hit you. But you can also hit it with a stasis rifle if you're fast enough. And I forgot about him. Okay, last little threat here is gonna be the ghost leviathan, the biggest threat of them all. It, it typically stays near the top of the biome, sometimes go near the bottom and into the area that you're gonna be searching. So just be extremely, extremely wary of him because he can tear up your, he can tear you up and your prod suit up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, you, your best bet is probably gonna be hitting it with a stasis rifle, like before it attacks you, if it does start to come after you, because you aren't gonna have like perimeter defense or anything, because you're gonna be in a prod suit. Now that we're here, you're gonna wanna head down into the biome. Don't go all the way down to the bottom because that's like where the Lost River is. And you're not gonna wanna go in there. Just stay near around like 300, 400 meters. You're just gonna look around on the seafloor and around the rocks for gold deposits. Now the blood kelp also does have like a little cave system in it. It's sort of like attached to it. And you can also find the gold deposits in the caves as well. So make sure you, make sure you catch Make sure you check those as well. Jeez Louise. And there is one right there. Now you're also gonna see these like little, these little crab thingies walking around. I didn't mention them as a threat cause you know, they, they're they super insignificant. Like you can kill them pretty easily. They don't do that much damage. I don't even think they can damage the vehicles. So that's why I didn't really mention them as an actual threat. So there's one right there. And I believe that's another one right there. Yep, so that's two deposits so far. Is that three? Is that three right there? Those. Yep, okay, so we got three deposits so far. Okay, four. Four all in within like the same little spot. Oh, okay, there we go. Found, some, found our, our six guy right here. And that's down into the Lost River. We don't want to go down there. Okay, we got seven. So we found seven here. Seven here, four at the underwater islands. Uh, I forget how much we found at the other places. I think we found five at the Jellystream Caves. Yeah, those are the four spots that you can find the gold deposits at without having to go in the Lost River and anything deeper than that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.